Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Kayla Rundle, if you do not know me. Today I'm gonna share with you one of my many hobbies and it is my shoe collection. I've been collecting shoes for years now, obviously, because I'm 23. I have so many shoes, I'm a sneakerhead, in my opinion. <laughs> um, a lot would say that as well. I know a lot about shoes. I research the crap out of them. I love shoes to death because of the design and the colors and outfits, fashion. Just love that whole world. So I mostly just want to show off my whole shoe collection and let's see how I can drive in every single pair. So I'll just get into the detail of my shoes. These are my 97s. These are my one and only pair of 97s. Uh, they are the triple whites. These were amazing in the beginning, but for some reason they got smaller over time, which I don't really know what happened, but they're super cute for multiple outfits. I know a lot of people don't really like these shoes and they're kind of controversial with a lot of sneaker heads, but this is a great pair for everyday walk walking around, going to the grocery store. Uh, they are difficult to drive in because they are very, very stiff shoes. They have so many layers of fabrics. So I don't recommend these for driving shoes, but they're cute for fashion and these stripes do reflect if you put like a flashlight to it, which is kind of fun because people will see you from really far away or if you're walking across the street, they will see you for sure and not hit you. <laughs> and of course, I have multiple pairs of NMDs, which I'm not going to show because they're all kind of the same, but just like different colors. I appreciate the rear ones more and I like those colorways a lot more, so I'm going to show those, but NMDs are cheaper shoes, but... These are like the triple red NMDs. I like this red. I think they came out came out around Valentine's Day, but I love red. Red's such a great pop to any outfit. These are really easy shoes to drive in as well. They're literally socks on your feet. These are usually around like $140 for a pair. And these are the Kyries. My mom got these for me for my birthday because she's like, they match the color of your Camaros, which my calipers are teal and the wrap is this sand color. And it's fun because the both shoes, one has a beach ball in the back and the other has a seashell so it perfectly matches my car they're so cute and they're actually very very comfortable i just haven't worn these a ton but hopefully well in the future and they're super easy to drive in not too bad as you can see the bottom is pretty flat and it's such a cute color it like matches my eyes i love it these are my dr martin these are nearly impossible to drive with because they have a huge huge platform so I actually have to move my seat back when I drive with these on. They are absolutely insane. As you can see, like the bottom, it's so hard to even grab the pedal or feel where it's at because it gets caught in there. It's just a mess. But I absolutely love these shoes. They're full leather. They're great in the winter. They're so, so cute. I wore, I've worn these in like so many Instagram photos. Everybody loves the fits. It's such a vibe. I'm not really a fan of the basic Dr. Martens that are like, the low platform so these high platforms are perfect for me and i can also fit in with the trends i love them so much versus these are a similar style these are the timberlands as you can see it has the little logo right here i love the color of this and it matches my car pretty well it's great for photos as well because it matches the car and of course i love this style it's like a construction worker vibe and it has very thick laces and again they're great for summer but they're suede so they get dirty pretty quick and they're bad in water but look how cute i love these these are my air max 90s these are also very cute i've never owned a pair of these before these recently dropped a month ago they're like polka dotted they're pretty cute they're a pretty girly shoe i haven't worn these a lot yet they kind of fit weird in the beginning but after i tighten the laces up and fix them a bit they got a lot better so yeah, those are nice. These are also super easy to drive with, but they do have a bit of a platform, so it does make it a little difficult. The next are my very first pair of Yeezys. These are the Cloud White 350s. I know a lot of people aren't fans of Yeezys. To me, they look like a dead fish from this perspective. <laughs> but this colorway is super rare, super girly. It's cute. It's white and blue. These are super, super easy to drive with because you can feel a lot of the pedal but they also feel like socks so they can slip every once in a while. But I absolutely love Clyde Whites. They just did another drop recently, so these dropped in value, but originally these were going up in value for so long. But now they just went back down thanks to the latest drop, so. Then on my other pair of Yeezys, these I wear so much, so sorry, they are pretty dirty. These are the Hyperspaces. These were a UK drop. Uh, that means they were only dropped in the UK in an order for people in the US to get these. These had to be shipped over to the US, so, and that means 
for people in the US, these also cost a lot more than other Yeezys on the market. So at the time, I think I paid for like about $450 for these without the box, which is a lot for Yeezys. Usually you pay around $300, $350 with the box and the whole shoe brand new. But anyways, I love this. The color is super simple. It's like a light yellow and it matches everything. I've worn these for literally months and months and months and I just clean them up with some Jason Marks and it's perfect. Yeezys are definitely the go-to daily shoe. They are so, so comfortable. These are my Air Jordan 1 mochas. Sam got these for me. These were a dream shoe that I never thought I would have. These are insanely priced on the market. Absolutely love these to death. They're, the colorway is based off of the Travis Jordans. They did it like Travis Scott did a collab with Nike. And on his, he has like the backwards swoosh. So then Nike took that and took his colors with the mocha and just did the black and the white and the mocha color. Like so many celebrities have this shoe. You can see this all over social media. It's pretty expensive. It's one of the more expensive Air Jordan ones right now for like the mass produced pairs. Not the like the Air Dior's that are insane, but these are pretty pricey for what they are. Absolutely love these shoes to death. They match everything, of course. Neutral colors are the best. These are my favorite pair. Thank you, Sam, for these. Next are my very first pair of Air Jordan 1s. These are the Satin Snakes. They have the snake on the back of the heel right here and into the swoosh. And I like how the toe is white and in some like the Chicago's and stuff, the toe is black. Uh, this kind of gives it more of a pop. These are a woman's shoe and they have satin on the inside right here and on the tongue, which makes it so, so comfortable to wear. It feels like you're wearing slippers like all day long because you're stepping in satin wherever you walk. These are also amazing to drive in. They're so comfortable. Ankle support is always good for me. Personally, I like ankle support when I'm driving and it also has a flat bottom. So it's super easy to use on your pedals. Love these shoes, love the classic colors. I'm from Chicago, you know I love these colors. Satin snakes, if I were to recommend anything, definitely get satin Jordans, they're so comfortable. Woo, the, my craziest pair of Jordans are my Biohack. These Biohacks are crazy color. They have so many different colors. They also have the mocha in the back, just like my other mochas. They released around the same time as those, when those mochas came out, or like right before it, I believe. But it's also fun because it has that silver swoosh, like the Tokyos and all these fun colors. So you can really play multiple outfits with these. I absolutely love these. So colorful, the inside is all pink and blue and still all different colors. When I pulled out of the box, it did smell like Play-Doh. It still smells like Play-Doh a bit. Uh, you could tell it's heavily dyed, but these colors are incredible. Again, great driving shoes. These are a little thicker, like here on the tongue. It has that, like the off-white shoes and has that foam tongue. Very interesting shoe, but I love it. This is so cute with an outfit that's like all black. It's such a great pop of color. And I just recently got these. I got these literally this week. These are the Lime Ice Women's Dunks. I won these on sneakers, which a lot of my shoes I don't win on sneakers. I'm always paying over sticker for them. The colors on these are gorgeous. I wore these literally today with this shirt, so the purple matches perfectly. But it has this nice lime color with a little bit of the pink with the pink laces it didn't come with any other lace options so i just left the pink on there and with a little bit of white you could definitely tell it's for sure women's color is very cute definitely a summery spring shoe it's kind of funny because these always these colors always come out in like fall end of summer but i'm excited because i can wear these all spring long and they're great to wear with shorts because highs my air jordan highs kind of look funky with shorts sometimes so i could literally wear this with any outfit and again, this is probably one of the most comfortable shoes I've worn in a long time. It's my first pair of dunks. I wore them all day today. No blisters, no nothing. I absolutely love these. I'm definitely going to get more in the future. These are the best. And I had these in the last video, but these are the Hyper Royals. These were also a drop that happened too recently. And these are the, this is one of the most anticipated shoes of the year. These sold out insane. So many people want these. These are difficult shoes to find. It's mostly because of the colorway, super popular. It's white, gray, and this jean material that's almost suede. And the more you wear it, it wears down. It's so, so cute. I love these. Of course, Air Jordan ones are always my favorite. <laughs> Ooh, switching locations now. 
So this is gonna be my last pair of Jordan 1s that I have right now. These are the Air Jordan 1 Seafoams released in August this year. They're a really, really nice colorway. These are a women's shoe. The material's amazing. They're like similar to like the UNC women's shoe. Um, they have like these copper laces, which contrast perfectly with the green. These are really nice. These were super expensive when they came out. Now they've gone down in value a lot, but obviously you can see how cute they are. So they're worth it. So if you guys want like a beginner Air Jordan 1, I think these are the way to go. So cute. Also, I wanna mention with Air Jordan 1s, it's so funny because this traction, it's all the same exact design on the bottom of the shoe and it has great traction. And so whenever you're in the store, you can literally like go like this and it like squeaks on the ground. And then, you know, if you hear that in the store, you're like, oh, person's a baller. Probably have Jordans on. If you have Adidas and whatnot, you can never make that squeak sound. I don't know what it is. It's like a basketball shoe or something. Who knows? But great shoe. Obviously the Air Jordan ones are my favorite because I showed you like all of mine in this video. And of course, I'll just make a notable mention. These are the Nike Blazers. I think I bought these for seriously only $6 at the Nike outlet store. But these are amazing because they have great ankle support and these are seriously amazing driving shoes and they also have very, very flat bottoms. Come into the whole fashion world, everybody's been wearing these, especially with the off-white blazers that everybody's getting, which are really, really expensive. But I don't have a pair of off-whites. I need to get a pair of off-whites. And last but not least, I'll show you guys the coconut milks. These are like not really worth anything, but I got them on the sneakers app, so I was happy. And I have a orange shirt that these perfectly match, but they're really cute. And look at like the top view is very cute. Crazy bottoms. Yeah, they're dirty because I've worn these a lot. Well, that concludes me showing you guys my entire sneaker my entire sneaker collection. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is one of my like passions. I know it's not anything really car related for this channel, but it's something I love and I wanna try to introduce more things I love, especially snowboarding and shoes and fashion. Um, I wanna show like a whole lifestyle rather than, hey, look, here's my car. <laughs> so this is why I'm gonna start making these kind of videos. I'm just gonna do what I enjoy. After all, this channel is named Kayla Rundle, not Camaro Girl. <laughs> so put down, down below in the comments like what kind of sneakers that you guys have do you guys have air jordan ones what do you got i love seeing like pictures and talking about sneakers because not a lot of people talk to me about sneakers and it's hard to find sneaker heads nowadays because it's another expensive hobby but it's more low-key you know but i've definitely made some friends off of just mentioning sneakers at car shows when someone's wearing cool kicks i always come up and compliment them and start conversations it's so fun but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, if you guys do not already, go follow my Instagram and TikTok and everything. It is all Kayla Rundle. I'll also put down the links down below. And I'll try to put some links down below of where I get my sneakers as well. I mostly get them off of Change Clothes. They're here in Scottsdale, Old Town. I only can put their website down below and their Instagram page. And then I mostly also get my, my sneakers off of Goat. Um, I've heard a, bad, a few bad things about buying shoes off of StockX. So I haven't bought shoes off there yet. But anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.